What's going down guys? My name is Hutch and I make Call of Duty videos and post them on the internet. And uh, today I'm going to show you guys uh, a few tactics which I believe will help you out in the long run if you're using a sniper rifle in Modern Warfare 2. So my perks for this match are uh, Stop and Power Pro, uh, Steady Aim Pro, Ninja Pro. Now I'm using Ninja Pro so that other people don't hear my footsteps. I think in free for all that's a pretty underused perk. And I think if uh, more people use that, it would be a, a lot harder for guys like me to uh, to get the kind of scores or to win a free-for-all. Because, you know, I can hear these guys' footsteps loud as day. Got a pretty nice headset, so, yeah. Uh, and then the first perk I'm using, which is, I believe, the most important perk in this slot, is uh, Slide of Hand Pro. And why I think Slide of Hand Pro is important is because um, with the Pro add-on to the perk, your scope is going to come up about twice as quick. And uh, contrary to what a lot of people think, the most important aspect of sniping is not how accurate you are. Now, obviously, that's important. It's important to be accurate with a sniper rifle. Uh, but I would argue that the most important, uh, the most important aspect of sniping in this game is where you position yourself on the map and uh, how you react to uh, your enemy's activities. So, uh, one thing that's going to help you out. Uh, along those lines is to be as quick as you possibly can which means you're not always waiting for the perfect shot uh, I think that in the long run it's actually it's gonna pay off a lot more if uh, if you play aggressive I think the key to Call of Duty to success in Call of Duty is to be tactical but at the same time to be aggressive anybody can go in a free-for-all match and sit in a corner and wait for people to run by them with cold-blooded and a silencer or something like that but I would argue that that doesn't necessarily take a lot of skill and that if you want to improve in this game particularly if you want to improve if you want to improve if you want to improve with a sniper rifle then um, it's it's important to it's important to be as quick as you possibly can uh, the assault rifles in this game have little very little recoil with the exception of the FA2000 which has a lot of recoil but all the other assault rifles in this game uh, don't have a lot of recoil, so the the longer that you're standing out in the open with your scope up, trying to hold your breath uh, and waiting for that perfect shot, uh, it's the easier you're gonna make the other person's job, especially if they have a, an assault rifle or, or if they're up close, if they have a submachine gun. The easier you're gonna make their job if you're sitting there s with your scope in all the time. Um, I got I got a lot of grief from. Uh, a few people on on some of the machinim, machinima posts that I've that I've already posted, because I've already mentioned before that I don't think accuracy is the most important part of sniping, and uh, people kind of were just like, "Oh, you fucking douchebag!" Of course it is. It's sniping. That's what makes you good snipers. How accurate you are. And I agree that it's important, and I agree that if you're not accurate with a sniper rifle, you're probably not going to have a whole lot of success. Um, like right there. As I'm talking about accuracy, I miss four shots. See, like when they're really up close like that, I like to quick scope because, uh, if especially if they're sprinting, if you're trying to hold in your scope and follow them, and they're really close to you, it's really hard to follow them. So to me, it's easier just to click the left trigger, uh, zoom in and shoot, and then as soon as I shoot, zoom right back out. It's called a it's called a quick scope. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how I can how much more I can stress in terms of free-for-all. Like, common sense is good. Like, here, I, this guy's a camper. I know that because he's hiding behind barrels. So, he killed me there last time. Just chuck an 8 up there, easy kill. Um, that is why camping in the long run is not going to make you a good player. And, uh... As far as some concerns that I've heard about Modern Warfare 2 and balance issues, I'll talk about the kill streaks real quick. I've heard a lot of people complain that the kill streaks are insanely insanely overpowered and I don't I don't agree like uh, the predator missile can be kind of a pain in the ass because if you're out in the open there's pretty much no way to defend against that but when you get to things like Harrier strikes attack helicopters payblows uh, AC 130s and chopper gunners the easiest way to take those things down is to have a backup class uh, with cold-blooded and stinger missiles now I find I've found personally that stinger missiles work the best against uh, 
best against aircraft like Harrier uh, Harrier jets and attack helicopters and things like that. I tried the Javelin. I mean, they're pretty cool, but they only give you one round. So if you miss, then you're kind of screwed. So, like, if I'm playing a big team game, like Team Deathmatch or Dom or something like that, uh, and the other team has uh, air support in the air, what I like to do is switch my class to that cold-blooded class with the Stinger. Uh, here, I don't know what the hell they're doing. I think one guy was actually spotting the other guy to make sure nobody was killing him while he was on a kill streak or something like that. But in a minute, you will see that I come in and ruin their plans. So with the quickness, I turn around this corner, kill that guy, kill that guy, and kill that guy. That's what happens when you, when you, when you act like a douchebag in a free-for-all. So what I like to do is, getting back to the what I was just talking about a second ago, is I like to switch to my cold-blooded class, fire two stingers at whatever at whatever is in the air. If that doesn't take him, take him down, I'll chuck a nade, kill myself and fire a couple more and uh harriers harrier jets are really easy to take down like it's probably like more often than not it's gonna it's not gonna take you more than one shot to take those down payloads can be a little tricky because they'll set off flares so it usually takes a couple like two or three stinger stinger missiles before i can take one of those down ac-130s and chopper gunners are a pretty big pain in the ass but if you have two or three people uh pulling out the stingers and trying to take them down it really shouldn't take them down that I mean, it shouldn't be too hard to take him down, so... Um, those are just my opinions on the game. At this point, I would like to invite you all to share your opinion about whether or not uh, the kill streaks in this game are overpowered, and if you think that they create a balance issue that needs to be addressed. You all know p my opinion, so I kind of want to know yours at this point. Uh, the game is almost done, and as you can see, even with a sniper rifle, you can play an aggressive game. You just have to work on your speed and timing a little bit, that's all. And here I get the nice kill cam. The guy's pissed off, and he's he's uh you can hear he's pissed off in the in the lobby chat. But I don't know if you guys can hear that because I turned the game volume down pretty low. So there's your game winning kill, and uh, my final score was uh I don't know what the final score was, 30 and 12 I think. Anyways, come check out my channel if you like this, and I'll talk to you next time.